to you. Here we are with our weekly check-in to see what we can focus on letting go of in this. This is an auspicious, auspicious week to be looking at this whole idea of letting go. If you watch these with me before, you know that I'm very passionate about helping people get clear, helping the evolution of you in your best way. And so you know what I mean by letting go? I'm talking about you know, letting go of habits or ways of being or even ideals that don't suit you anymore or beliefs or mindset. So before we get into the letting go part, it, we've been working through my letting go system and we're on card number 36 today. But why I said that it's so auspicious is today we are being influenced by the flower this is it's the super flower blood moon. So a long description. Oh, and it's in the sign of Scorpio, which is why this is also really, really potent for us. So the blood moon, and unfortunately it was overcast here last night because I was really hoping to see it. Did you? The blood moon, it, it has a red shade to it because of the shadow of the earth that it's, the Earth is like completely lined up, so it's a complete lunar eclipse. Now, eclipses them energetically themselves are all about letting go, becoming aware of your spiritual nature, the essence of you. But the other aspect that's really, really um, encouraging us to get really deep on the letting go aspect is the fact that it's in the sign of Scorpio. So full moon in the sign of Scorpio. The sign of Scorpio is about the hidden pieces of it, like perhaps even having a look to see are there shadow aspects of yourself that you don't allow yourself to, 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 to acknowledge, to admit, to embrace and to take on yourself to, to rather than stuff it down or pretend it's not there. So that's what this is about, this letting go of the things that you don't like about yourself, the things that maybe you haven't allowed yourself to sit with. You know, it is said that that's where our power is, is in the shadowy aspects. So can you and what can you do to set aside yourself some time in the next day or so, because we're still being influenced by all this energy, but just to have a, have a little, stick a, a magnifying glass over how are you thinking about yourself? How are you speaking about yourself? Are you aligning with your biggest, most auspicious, most amazing intentions and goals and ideas? Are you aligning with them? And of course, these questions are never about to um, make you feel bad about yourself or shame you if you're not, but it's about being willing to say, okay, so this is what's going on. So how can I shift? What can I do? And even if it's just a small baby step in the direction of your dreams, of your intentions. When I talk about any of these, if this triggers something or you need a wee bit more guidance or support, please put it in the comments below or message me directly. The thing about letting go can sometimes be very simple and very um, quick in some ways where it's like, you know, you become aware of, oh, I use this word all the time, or I have this habit of doing this. And just by having that awareness, you can then say, now I pivot, or now I change, or just release that, acknowledge it. But other times it can be a little bit more difficult, and you might need to get into um, reaching out for help, or, you know, doing a bigger uh, process around introspection, journal writing, and speaking things out, and or getting a card reading or whatever it is that resonates with you and actually allowing yourself the gift of that because we do have all the answers within us. However, sometimes it's important to have somebody, you know, be a sounding board or reflect things for us because sometimes we're not seeing the fact that, you know, you do have the awareness. It's right there. It's, it's, it's kind of whispering in your ear. So see if any of that kind of thing is going on for you. See if you can use this amazing time to really fully get in touch with what's possible for you. 
what is trying to be created or experienced from your truth, from your own inner core. Now, I think you, if you've watched these before, you know how I love how the letting go cards line up with some of the energies that we're dealing with. So I said that we're working with card number 36 and it's execution, excuses or justifications. Sorry, excuses or justifications. So you see, isn't that perfect about looking at the shadowy aspects of ourselves? Do you make excuses why um, you're not playing all out or you're not aligning with your big dreams or you're not um, asking for the help that you need? Are you making excuses about it or are you justifying why something's you know, carrying on that doesn't serve you anymore? Just feel into that. And excuses are justifications, we all kind of do it from time to time, but it's being aware of, oops, there it is, and just saying, nope, I'm going to tell the truth, or I'm going to accept that it's not, maybe it's not the right time to do something, and that's okay, but don't make excuses about it. Say you're choosing, this isn't the time to do it, or if it is the time, don't make excuses as to how come you can't get to it. See if what you need to do to, to sit with whatever it is that you're working on. I hope that makes sense. But let me read this out to you to see if this helps go into a wee bit more depth for you to let go of excuses or justifications. So let go of excuses. You want to work out but you don't have the time? Wake up early and exercise in your living room. Excuses are only rationalizations that make you feel better about yourself for not doing something that you really want or need to do. You desire results? Stop complaining or justifying why it's not happening and start doing. Justification, blame and excuses are born from a subconscious desire to manage failure and dis disappointment from ourselves. This is actually a very natural and in some way a very healthy mechanism. When we feel the failure is too big to bear, we try to get, uh, get the load off our shoulders in order to survive emotionally. The main problem with passing blame and justifying is that it blocks our way forward. When you let go of blaming and justifying, responsibility kicks in. The sense of control over your life is very motivating and the subconscious is very supportive. Control is not a bad word as long as the focus is about controlling your own thoughts and actions and not about controlling others. It's very, very powerful. So take a deep breath. What justifications or excuses do you need to let go of? And this is such a perfect piece around working with that full moon aspect in the sign of Scorpio because it is those excuses and justifications can sometimes be hiding something that you're not willing to tell yourself the truth or admit to. It's about abdicating some of the responsibility of choosing what's right for you, what does, it, does work or is in alignment with what you say you want and, and is what you say you want really what you want or are you buying into it well I should because I'm this person or I'm in this environment or I'm in this group of people so this is another part too and that's why I say put the magnifying glass on are these intentions and the things that you're doing are they lining up so I hope you can see how big and powerful this week is so like I say if you have any need any help or further insights on this let me go. Let me know. Um, this is awesome. I just kind of got thrown off by the card that came up. I just shuffled the tarot cards and it's actually the Nine of Swords. Very powerful. So the Nine of Swords is very much about calamity and thinking thinking everything's terrible and, and that, that it's like it's, it's about worrying the potential but it's actually an, an, a nice reminder to us that Things sometimes have to get a bit, you know, fall apart in order to fall together in a better way. But it's also about recognizing that even if something, like, like in this idea of uh, embracing something that's a little bit more shadowy about you, or 
a propensity to make excuses or sell yourself short, things like that. That can feel a little bit overwhelming. But in this, with this Scorpio energy, and it's beautifully aligned with that Ten of Swords, it's like just keep going through it. Accept. That's when it's there. But as soon as we do that, of okay, here's the pattern, here's the vibe, I can let it go. And it's the best way to create what it is you really, really want. So see if what you're, you're aligning yourself or heading towards or making action steps towards. Is it your deepest desire? Is it aligned with your essence? With you? And actually also too, with helping you um, share your unique gifts. Because that's what this letting go part is too, is are you letting go of all the things that maybe are stopping you showing up in the game of life to share your gifts and your uniqueness? So, as I was doing, saying about that, um, I pulled three of the Dorian Virtue Heal Healing with the Angels cards. And as always, we've got some beautiful cards here. The first one is Playfulness. So, you know, this one's a little bit heavy, this idea of embracing your, your shadowy aspects or releasing excuses and justifications. But see if you can have some fun with it too some lightness of being around it. Don't make it a big drudgery, heavy thing because look at what it's all about. Spiritual growth. Isn't that perfect? Spiritual growth and not only that, the support. So as spiritual beings, as we flow into embracing our shadowy aspects, becoming the wholeness and the truth of who we are, sharing our gifts and just being who it was we intended to be at a soul level. That's what's, that's what's required for all of us. So I wish you a beautiful week. Really em, em, embrace and enjoy that full moon, flower moon, eclipse moon, blood moon uh, energy in your best way. And I wish you a wonderful week. I'll be back here with you again next week. Much love.